Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. A hypnotic rhythmic chant of 16 words has replaced LSD. On 2nd Avenue and 1st Street is a storefront in which a Hindu Swami has set up shop. Traditionally, Swamis, yogis, Zen masters all moved uptown to the rich. And here was Bhaktivedanta, like in the depths of Calcutta. Swami Bhaktivedanta, he once said that he was the servant of the servant of the servant of God. Everyone is thinking, I'm American, I'm Indian, I'm European, I'm Australian, but I'm not this body. I am a spirit soul. Teachings of bhakti are meant to create a revolution within the heart. They're meant to change the way we see the world. In the 60s, everything exploded. The young people were not satisfied. They were looking for something more. We wanted to find out what is the, the truth. At the age of 70, Srila Prabhupada just left everything that was known to him. He said, I want to go to America. I said, are you crazy? Old man, you are going to die. He was fearless and he was bold. He did not give up his dream. He had this one spirit, one calling in his heart. If someone told you the story, then you wouldn't believe it. So I went to America at all. All by himself, a trunk of books, 40 rupees. It was impossible. But Srila Prabhupada had faith. Prabhupada had a vision for the world from day one. He wanted to embrace the world. <laughs>